Researchers at Thomas Jefferson University are testing a new medicine for people who have COVID-19. The drug is moved into phase two of clinical trials in record time, and doctors hope it can ease suffering. Dr. Ross Summer is taking part in the study. He joins us now for more insight on this. Dr. Summer, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right, so tell us all about this trial. It involves a drug that was actually developed for migraines. Yes, this is a drug that uh, was developed for migraines, but it's being repurposed for COVID pneumonia. This drug works by blocking inflammation, and so the virus activates all, a lot of inflammatory pathways, and it's the collateral damage to the lung from the activation of inflammatory pathways that damages the lung. And so this drug works by blocking those inflammatory pathways. And, and how does it work? Is, I understand it's a spray, like a, a nasal yes. spray? It's a nasal spray. It's given three times a day. It was, again, designed for people with migraines. Oh. Uh, but by getting into the, the respiratory passages uh, through the, the nasal spray that we get into the lungs, too, and protect the lungs from injury. Phase two of this trial started uh, late last month. Talk about how quickly you were able to get to this point, because typically it takes months. In this case, it took weeks. Yeah, this is pretty remarkable, and this is uh, kind of the, the pandemic. One good thing that's come from this is really fast-tracking drug development. And so normally it would take about 90 days to get a drug just approved to start testing uh, in the clinical arena, and this got approved within 10 days. And so who is the ideal patient for this trial? I mean, who are you looking for to participate in this? Well, at Thomas Jefferson, we're actually doing trials on patients with all different uh, stages of the disease from early to late into the disease when the lung is severely injured. For this particular drug, we're giving it in the early stages of disease, right when you get hospitalized, hmm. needing a little bit of oxygen, but before the development of severe lung injury. Fascinating. So much happening uh, right here in our area. Dr. Ross Summer, thank you so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thanks again for having me.